Pokemon Legends Arceus was such an intriguing game, and one of the reasons is, is for its starters. The starters in this region come from various different regions. You got Oshawa from Unova, Cyndaquil from Johto, and Rallet from Aloha. There is no correlation whatsoever between these three. When they all evolve, they all get their very own Hisuian forms. Hisuian Decidui, Typhlosion, and then we got Samurott. I'll talk about the other two in a later date. I think Hisuian Samurott poses as a major meta threat and much more powerful than the other two starters. I was talking about Hisuian Zorak yesterday, but you know, Samurott might actually be better than that now that I'm thinking about it. Hisuian Samurott is the Hisuian version of regular Samurott, but it is far better on all accounts. While it loses a bit bulk, it gains huge upgrades, namely to that speed stat, and becomes a primary physical attacker than his special counterpart in Unovan Samurott. Just this alone makes Samurott so much more worthwhile. A 70 base stat speed is nowhere good, but an 85 base stat speed, while awkward in Generation 9, is way more manageable than anything. Hisuian Samurott is also a dark and water type. While it does pick a few more weaknesses, it is better offensively, so it isn't a terrible trade-off. One of the key differences that really sets this Pokemon from the rest of them is its hidden ability of Sharpness. If you don't know, Sharpness is an ability that allows a user to gain more power on slicing type moves. Moves like Razor Shell, Axe Scissor, Sacred Sword, and more will be doing 50% more damage with this ability. Another move called Night Slash is usually a high crit ratio move, now will not only deal 50% more damage, but if it gets a crit, oh my god, watch out. Knockoff is also another solid move that removes the opponent's item and is also pretty good to run, but with other countless moves, I don't know if this move is really that necessary. Hisuian Ceremon also gets its very own signature move called Ceaseless Edge. This move is a pretty good dark type move, not only dealing damage, but also setting up a layer of spikes for free if it hits your opponent. Let me say that again, a free spikes layer without manually setting it up and you can do damage? That is just insane, as if this Pokemon needed more to begin with. Oh, and did I mention it counts as a slicing type move? So that 65 base dark type attack is actually 97.5. 97.5 dark type move setting up spikes like how, why, what is Game Freak thinking? Hisuian Samurai also gains pretty good priority moves in the name of Sucker Punch and Aqua Jet. Both are pretty good solid options and you can't go wrong with either, it is mostly a preference choice when it comes down to it and just your team composition and moveset and all that kind of good stuff. Pokemon like Serilege, Armrouge and even Skeledurge are all easily counterable by this Pokemon. It also has a really good chance against Goldango, the top meta Pokemon because not only is it a dark type with the moves Sucker Punch and other countless dark type moves, it also outspeeds it by one point and I'm not joking, 85 to 84. Terrestrialization, well before it gets banned, can also play a major factor for this Pokemon. Terra Poison to negate Grass and take Neutral Electric, or perhaps his Suicune Samurai can even take advantage of Terra Water against major threats such as Garganical or Chi Yu and Great Tusk and more. One thing that you can really do with this Pokemon is slap on a Scope Lens which further increases the crit ratio. So that 50% increase and Scope Lens can lead to major damage. Night Slash, the move I was talking about earlier which means it can crit more often and has a 50% already base increase in damage. Like, that actually is really, really good. Other items such as Choice Scarf and Life Orb will probably be pretty good because speed control and general consistent damage is always a plus for any Pokemon. While this Pokemon is a bit more frail than its Unovan counterpart, its ceiling is way higher, and its versatility as a hard damage duel that can set up free spikes just makes this Pokemon infinitely better. Hisuian Samurai and Hisuian Zork are probably the two Pokemon I look forward to most as we await Pokemon home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more competitive content. I make competitive videos like this and the goal is always to make it entertaining for you guys watching, so liking and subscribing will really help let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below which other Pokemon you'd like to see a video of as well.